WFNN. Headline News Update. Welcome, folks. We have the Dow Industrials trading up 556. NASDAQ is up 346. S&Ps are up uh, 92. Gold. Gold contract up $6.90, trading at 1655 an ounce. We have silver up 51 cents, $18.58 an ounce. Light sweet crude flat. $85.41 a barrel, notes and bonds. The 10-year note, up three ticks, trading 110.22. The 30-year down 11 at 123.12 and King Dollar. King Dollar's down 1,254 ticks, trading out at 112.06. The euro is at 98. The yen's at 148. And the British pound is at 113 to 1 US dollar. You know, when we take a look at the SPY, folks, bottom line is that you get the volatility out here. There's no two ways about it. Bottom line, you know, you go higher Thursday, pull back Friday. Well, guess what? You're right. You're going to close above the highs of uh, Thursday. So this market still wants higher price. That's the bottom line. Now, you're going to have a big contraction of volume out here today. So uh, <laughs> you can expect the volatility to continue. That being said, my take is that you get a couple weak bounce out here. That's in the SPY. NDX 100, same type of setup. When you got the NDX, the bottom line, you know, we'll see if thing, baby can get going. Same type of setup, though, and I suspect what you, go, what you are going to do in the NDX is also close over the highs of Thursday. Uh, that, that number is, uh, well, we'll see. It's 270.17. We've hit 270.24 thus far, you know. Uh, and it's going to be all about good old King Dollar. You know, we can take a look at King Dollar. It's pretty amazing, man, that, you know, you King Dollar pulls back. Um, market can breathe in a big way. Bottom line, you, you know, last Thursday, King Dollar went from 113 900 to 112 14 come right back on friday and then it gives it right up in fact we're at a lower low than thursday right now so your probability is that you're going to have another four or five days lows the first big test is going to be 11005 that's the swing point that was established out here on the 4th of october you get down to that level that's going to be an important level because what happens at that level also is that that's where your trend line is you know the trend line is actually a break of the channel which would bring you down to 104 is going to be 111 19. one so it's a thousand point ticks from where we are right now and realistically you know what you can do really realistically keep your eye on this because this is going to tell you where the market's going if you bounce off this, guess what? We're going low. You break that, all in. Stay right there, folks. Come right back.